Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Ingenious Giacomo and today I am actually doing a ballast bypass on a commercial fixture. I did a bunch of those, a lot of it. Now, um, a very important thing, you know, this is the traditional T8 with the fluorescent light and the ballast. I'm going to LEDs and those are the ballast bypass bulb. A very important thing our people maybe are not aware, I wasn't aware until I bought them. There is a dual end, there is a single hand. Now this one, this particular bulb, the connector is only on one end. Now this one is the one I like better because I think it's much easier to wire. Have um, a dual hand connector, you know. So technically, although it shows to be the line and the neutral, I never had a problem sometimes by mistake I, I invert them when I install them and I mean it's been years and they're still running fine so I guess it's just a schematic issue. I find it much easier with a dual end because um, you know it's much easier to wire them. The single end you got to put the neutral and the face next to each other and sometimes the little connector it's, it becomes a lot more complicated. It was a mistake I bought them. I was able to use some of them so far and they're a little cheaper, the single-ended and the dual-ended. Uh, good thing about those, they use only 15 watts, so no ballast. So now your fixture will use only approximately 30 watts. And they put at least 2,000 something lumens each, to my knowledge. So we're looking at approximately 4,000. Some models actually have a higher output. But two of them is more than plenty to uh, replace a traditional fixture with three, even with four. Especially they are the old four T12, the bigger bulb instead of the T8s. So once again, those are a great deal. I got them on eBay. They used to be 105, including shipping. Uh, no sales tax back then. Now we put, put they put sales tax on it. So, but they went up. So I think it's like 120 something now for 25 of them. So originally I paid four dollars a piece for those. Those were cheaper actually. It's 30 of them. I pay 100 dollars. So just three something each, but the single ending is um, more complicated to work with. I don't recommend it. Okay, now we start with the older process, how to wire them up, very easy. I leave the old existing ballast in the fixture. Well, it's dead pretty much. It's just not really giving me the power I need to get those bulbs going. So I'm just gonna bypass it. Very simple process. Uh, and because the light fixture is on a timer, one of those motion detector thing, I'm gonna disconnect the power to it because I, it's a lot of breakers. Every time I go locate the breaker, I just go ahead and disconnect and work with the power on. But it's something I don't recommend. Uh, I always recommend to disconnect the breaker and make sure you check for power. I have my tools here. What I'm gonna be using a screwdriver just to, to remove them. Actually, I don't even need it really because I leave the ballast in there. Uh, voltage, uh, contactless voltage sensor to make sure there is no power. I always recommend that. A few wire nuts and a little stripper, wire stripper to just connect together the wires. So let me start with the process. I'm gonna open up my fixture there and disconnect the power to it. Okay, let's get going. Now I'm going to disconnect the power. This is actually a live fixture. I can disconnect it for a second because I have the switch here for just a little bit. I will turn it off. But I can normally work with the live power. So that's my power going in. Pretty easy. To make sure I don't get shot. Normally I wear gloves but I can find it. So it makes my life easier. And now I will check also once they turn on the power back on make sure the wire is not inverted i care where the neutral had power instead of the black the white the white so always check that make sure the power is off before you work on stuff like this then we cut the wires this is why i like the the, the double end ballast it's very easy there is a single wire going to one end i'm gonna use it to hook it up to the hut the face and then the neutral will go to the other one so they're black so it really makes no difference, I notice. I'm gonna use my voltage sensor. Yeah, like I say, see this, this one is the hot. I put a cap on it. The neutral is correctly wired, so right now it's very safe to work. There's the only power present in the fixture. 
it is away from the, everything else is really disconnected. Now, when you cut those wires, see it's long enough, thank God, long enough to reach. So we'll cut it off like here, approximately. Leave the ballast in place. And the black one, uh, I'm gonna put the hat all together there, I'm gonna group them all together, then we'll come up to my power going in. The neutral white is easy, ground is already there, so we are a pretty fast job. Sadly, I won't be able to do it with one hand, so I need to stop and then i show you the job done, but you're looking maybe at two minutes at the most. I did a bunch of those fixture. I do remind you the new fixture are not made with glass, it's actually a little sleeve of plastic and aluminum, it makes them very nice, they so they actually don't break. But in the, considering I bought them on eBay, I'm very happy with those. I bought at least three or four cases of 25 each, and I started like a couple of years ago, and they're still running, all of them, none of them burn out. Uh, also, the price was very good, like I say, 105 at a time for 25 of them. So I'm back, and we are now, I share pretty much what I did. I already installed the bulbs. As a, at least based on these ones where the label is, it's supposed to be the hut, the other end is the neutral. And of course, the frosted side goes down. Um, I like better the frosted, they sell, the, they call it milky, and they have the clear one. I always like the frosted better somehow, especially with those fixtures are open, you don't have, you know, the classical um, plastic glass loose side on it. All I need is to wire it uh, to the hut. I will cut all the three wires together coming out on one end. They're gonna go to the black, who's my hot wire phase. And then the ground, I didn't touch it because it's absolutely fine. I cut shorter the wire from the ballast. I use it as support. Now the other end, the neutral, I will cut up to the white. That's already done. So all I'm missing that particular touch. And I already installed the two fluorescent bulbs without power. And because it's better to turn them, put them on when there is no power to the fixture or turn the switch off. Even if you change a bulb, they recommend that with those LEDs one, even with the other one, technically. You're not supposed to change those bulbs when there is power to the fixture. I hook up uh, the black to the three wires going to the other side. The fixture are working already. I'm just gonna need to put my cover back on. Oops, sorry. This fixture has been converted only to two. I could put an additional bulb, but it's not necessary because the output is much higher than I was before. So that's it, you know, there's there gonna be a pain in the neck to snap it. It was hard. Okay, I did it. So, that's it. So the fixture is done. It's working beautifully. That's it. So two bulbs are enough, I can go with three because it's already wired for a number three, just in case. Very easy, like I said, I prefer those to the single-ended. So be careful, dual-ended ballast bypass is what you wanna buy, not single-ended. Bye. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up if you can. Ciao.